Alright, g'day guys and welcome back to another video here on the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over the version 1.6.0 patch notes for the Tachyon Anomaly event. The patch notes and the patch released uh, uh, a little while ago now, uh, a couple of hours ago. And uh, the actual event starts on Thursday. So if that's why you guys are a bit confused why the patch was here today, um, the patch is here to get ready for the event that'll be starting on Thursday. So the, uh, the update is dropped at 9 a.m. Pacific time for everyone except for PlayStation. Now, um, I was, as you guys know, if you guys were on the stream with me, I was waiting on stream very patiently for this patch to drop. And uh, unfortunately, you know, it, I don't know actually what time it dropped. Let me know what you guys, uh, what, what time did it drop in the in the uh, description below, uh, in the uh, comment section below. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I uh, missed out on playing it, but I will be playing it uh, I'll be going through the uh, patch during the uh, tonight's stream, so make sure to drop by and uh, say hello. But uh, going over the patch notes, let's get straight into it. If you guys are going to enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys do. But now, let's get straight into it. So starting off with the new features, we have the Attack on Anomaly event. The entire event begins on April 22nd and lasts until May the 3rd. It includes the Temporal Assault event, a new Tachyon Rift mission, lower level Tachyon Rift missions, and animated nameplates. Temporal Assault event. Aim's tampering with time has led to periodic tachyon anomalies. Have more than one of the same hero in your strike team and during matchmaking. Daily missions for this event reward priority set gear for the hero you are playing, regardless of level. Completing the weekly mission rewards you one piece of gear from the hive mind set per hero above power level 120. And that is confirmed to be exotic gear, guys. So really good to, uh, you know, you can grind out for each hero, guys, which is really cool. And each hero below power level 120 will get an epic item instead. So the new Tachyon mission, the new Tachyon Rift mission, and we're back, takes place in the city biome. Can you beat the clock? Animated nameplates. We're introducing Temporal Assault nameplates, which are animated nameplates you can get to add some shine to your experience. You will receive an animated team nameplate as a reward for the first completion of the weekly mission chain, or daily mission that can be used on any hero. Subsequent completions will not award more nameplates. Additional hero-specific nameplates are available in the marketplace. Uh, well, will be, you know, once uh, the event goes live. We have the custom harm room updates as well. So new updates to the custom harm room. Added two new enemy groups to the custom intel harm room. Dreadbots and airborne. The dreadbot groups are worth waves focused on dreadbot enemies. And the airborne group is themed around all flying enemies. And then we get into the patch notes. So a couple of things that I uh, want to point out. I will do a, I'll put a link into the, in the description below so you guys can go check it out for yourself. I won't go through every little thing here. Um, but the villain set the missions now properly update and rotate with each mission. So I know a lot of people have been uh, asking about this. And it does seem to have worked. I did check it out today, guys. It does seem to work, be working, which is really nice. Um, and, you know, there's just a lot of uh, little thing there. Assignments no longer reset when switching between mission givers and faction terminals, which is nice. Uh, resolved an issue on, you know, there's a lot of uh, mission fixes as well, which is nice. Um, you know, various stability optimization improvements and, yeah, and for Steam, improved loading times as well, which is always nice for that. Uh, fixed an issue where PS5 and PS4 players did not transition success successfully to the Quinjet upon Warzone completion. Um, and uh, various matchmaking optimization improvements. Turbulence, Elite and Desert Vault mission, uh, Elite vis missions appear correctly on the war table now. Uh, updated Kate uh, Love outfit to the name Heart, which makes no sense, uh, but there you go. Uh, the tank prying animation uh, on Secrets Within no longer appears broken. Uh, I actually have that, I've had that issue since launch, so it's nice to have that fixed. Uh, added audio to Hawkeye's takedowns in the marketplace in case where there was no audio. Um, updated the character select menu to more accurately reflect the clickable area to select the desi desired hero. There's a lot of UI improvements in this update, guys, which which looks nice. Uh, faction reward notifications no longer pop up constantly during missions. After defeating the warbot in Family Reunion and watching the cinematic, the player's HUD now properly appears. Uh, general UI improvements and fixes, like I said. And combat affects the rare issue where sometimes the player would not be able to jump or fly using the Warzone Elevator. Uh, Hawkeye's uh, heroic ult uh, abilities can now be acti activated immediately after grappling. There was a bit of an issue there uh, when he was first launched, but that is now fixed, which is nice. Uh, fixed the very issue where Kamala's high five would sometimes not fully stretch out and instead linger in front of her. I know a lot of people have had that uh, you know issue as well. Um, I've ha I've experienced an issue today as well, guys. I don't let me know if you guys have experienced the same one, but it's where um, with the custom harm room 
where the uh, it doesn't actually finish. Like you f defeated all the enemies, but it doesn't actually finish. So let me know if you had that issue as well. We might have to let them know about that one. But uh, like I said, I'm not. I haven't gone through every little thing, but those are the ones that I thought should be pointed out. Um, like I said, I'll put a link to this into the patch notes in the description below, so you guys can go check it out for yourself. But let me know what did you guys think of the patch notes. I think you know overall they're pretty cool. You know, nice fixes and changes, nice for the villain sectors and uh, so forth. And uh, yeah, cannot wait for the Tekken Anomaly event on Thursday. I will definitely be streaming guys for you guys to uh, you know come and have fun, join up. It's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. So. Hope you guys will enjoy that. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'd like to big a big shout out to all the channel members so far. Uh, you guys are amazing. We're up to 13. We're two away from another custom emoji, which is awesome. There's oh, heaps of uh, emojis there, guys. So uh, if you guys would like to join, there is a link in the description below. Uh, you can now follow me on Twitter, guys. There, I'll put a new link to uh, a new Twitter in my uh, description below. Uh, as you guys know, my Twitter account got hacked, so I had to remake a new one. But uh, that my new Twitter account will be in the description below, so you guys can go follow if you would like to. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, happy gaming.